Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Price here once again and today I have some Tribes of Midgard content and I wanted to show off the brand new official launch trailer, my reaction to it and cover why I'm going to be playing this game a ton not only on my YouTube channel but live over at twitch.tv slash Joe because this is a game that has me absolutely fascinated I am all in, I want to watch the trailer first and then we'll deep dive but if you enjoyed the video hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel it helps me out tremendously we're on the road to a thousand subscribers we have some awesome things planned once we hit that goal and i'm hopeful that tribes of midgard will be the content that'll help me get there because i like i said i'm putting out a lot of it comment below let me know are you interested in tribes of midgard and what class are you aiming for i'm kind of leaning towards seer but a tank class is also pretty interesting i know you only start with the two but i can't wait to unlock them i'll probably have guides for those various classes once we do get there so anyway i'm going to watch the trailer now and then go over my thoughts hope you enjoy those giant battles look awesome it's such a unique concept and it will take the full might of your tribe to turn the tide for Midgard. Yes, even them. Duh. What? <laughs> Those skins? <laughs> Sir, they arrived together. Oh. Ragnar rock together. The puns are ridiculous. You are ein Herrier, chosen by the gods for this very moment. That looks so ridiculous, but I love it. To cut this giant problem down to size. No pressure. I can't wait to fight that boss, that big wolf. Ready to join the tribe? Yeah, uh, I'm in. Ten player chaos. Okay, so the reasons why I'm so excited about this game. Ten players, obviously. That's huge. It's something that we don't see enough games have access to where you can just go around with a ton of friends. A lot of them are tied to like four or six players max and having up to 10 friends at a time come and hang out feels like it's going to be fantastic i want to run with a super crew of vikings and we all run one of the eight different classes with a little bit of overlap but that sounds awesome to me and i'm really in i've never been huge on survival games but the crossover between survival building top-down ARPG, that is what really has me intrigued with Tribes of Midgard because we have games like Diablo that are a little darker, a little more intense, but this provides fresh looks at that type of gameplay because if you're not a traditional fan of those top-down ARPGs, then you can focus on your building, there are support classes you can play, which are going to buff your team. You could be basically a herder of items to and from your team as they're battling if you want to be like kind of a merchant almost. So there's a lot of different options. The other thing that I've been really looking forward to is the fact that we've got uh, skill trees, the runes, we've got just so many options the different classes there there seems to be a lot of ways to build your character in this game and that's something that i really love when a game gives me a lot of options and it's not like here is the build that you need to play and then it's one path that that's your only option i that i'm not a fan of that being able to mix and match all of this sounds like it's going to be really fun really innovative especially when you start to understand that with the 10 players you can really mix and match you can min max if you want to and come up with the ultimate squad to nuke these giants now 
that's a big key of the gameplay though is that you're going to have your mobs your traditional enemies that are just gonna be wandering around that you have to deal with but the giants that's where the game really gets unique because these enemies are going to attack your base and you have to decide are you going to push out and go fight these enemies as they come towards your base chip down their their life or are you going to wait and kind of bottleneck them try to funnel all of funnel it into one specific spot where you can attack it all at one time and chunk it chunk dps basically now i'm not sure how that's going to work i'm excited to find out but the variety of gameplay is something that i'm really excited about the different modes as well because you can set it up in like short almost D, &D like intervals where you're like i'm playing this one session boom three four hours however long it takes and then i'm done and you carry forward some of your currency with the game but you don't have to remember where you were next time you pick it up. You can jump back in and even if it's a week later because you took a break from the game, you're still going to have a lot of uh, options, a lot of ways for you to take on the game and feel like it's a fresh restart. So I know a lot of people when they get halfway through a game, if they put it down for a little bit, that's it. They can't play it anymore. It's kind of over, but... Tribes of Midgard is not going to be one of those. And being able to do a different build each play session is fantastic. Not being stuck on one for to grind for hours and hours, days and days, months and months even. I think is going to feel really good and I'm excited about that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you're excited about the game. I'm going to be putting out a ton of content. Like I said, live, clips, long videos, everything. I'm... Let me know what you want me to cover in the comments down below. I'd really love to know what everyone is looking forward to in Tribes of Midgard and what they need more information on because I'd be happy to provide that if at all possible because I'm going to be very, very deep into this game. My name is Joe Peretz. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. But I'll catch you all later.